So now we're going to review some of the homework that I'm going to assign. And terminal commands will be like print working directory and ls and ls-la and cd dot dot up and, and then ls and cd into 009 change directories and uh, I don't know what other ones Yeah, maybe make dir if you want to show that, and and uh, remove recursively with force a directory to delete the directory you made. So we're recording all this so you can look back at those. But that's it. Take a screenshot of it. Just show me a couple terminal commands, and all those terminal commands are listed in our course outline. If you're finding this video online, just click on my name and go to my most recent playlist for the Go Programming Language Web Development and you'll be able to get to this outline. But all those terminal commands are right here. And, uh, you know, here we have print working directory, ls, la, ls. Uh, permissions, not going to worry about that yet. cd, make dir, touch, clear. Uh, don't worry about change mod. Environment, yeah, that's it, right? So that's, that's pretty much all of them. So that will do the first first uh, hands-on exercise. And then the next one is install Go. Take a screenshot. Go version. You've already done that. It's uh, easy extra points. You've already created a GitHub repo. Uh, maybe you added a git ignore file. Maybe you didn't. But it's dot git ignore. And you could just tell it to ignore. Like you could look up if you're on VS Code. Git ignore Golang. Right? And uh, you can look up a Golang git ignore file. And so here's one, and we'll go look at it. And you could just copy that to your bash history VS Code test. So I could just hit raw right here, and then copy all that, and put that in a file called .git ignore. And it will be a hidden file, and it will ignore things from GitHub for me. So upload that screenshot a hash function. Now a hash function, we talked about that because at golang.org when you go to download when you go to download go uh, we have these uh, hash functions down here, SHA-256 and, uh, and so for Windows, it's go one AMD 64 MSI, uh, Windows AMD 64 MSI. So here it is, right? And we talked about what that is, the SHA-256 checksum hash function. So in your own words, just kind of describe what a hash function is. Remember, they take the program on their end that they're going to deliver to me, and they run it through the SHA-256 checksum hash thing. And to figure out, you know, SHA... 256 Mac, right? We're using Linux, Unix commands, Mac commands. I can look up that command to see, oh, how do I run that? It's SHA SOM A 256 file, and then I'll run it. So when, when I receive the program I downloaded, then I run it, and I should get this exact same answer, which means that what they, they got that answer on their side, when I run it on my side, I need to get that answer. Otherwise, what they intended and what I received were two different things. Pretty cool. So just describe that in your own words for this assignment. And then terminal commands. Here are some commands. And then provide an explanation for each of those commands, just because not everybody's familiar um, what they do. And let me talk about some of those for a second since Touch will create a file. Change mod, you can look it up too, will change file permissions. So when I look at like stuff here, and if I do ls-la, I get that. Let me go up a level. Okay, and now I have permissions. And those permissions are read, write, execute, read, write, execute, read, write, execute. Okay, three times. Three times. Read, write, execute, read, write, execute, read, write, execute. 
And when I look at our course outline, I could see that here, right? The same thing. Read, write, execute, read, write, execute, read, write, execute. And you can see them right there. And it's owner, group, world. So read, write, execute for the owner. Read and execute for the group. Read and execute for the world, right? Well, the owner is this person. The group is this person or that group. And everything else is the world. So those are permissions on a file. It's beautiful. It's easy. It looks a little, ah, at first. But just read, write, execute, read, write, execute, read, write, execute for the owner, the group, the world. And then you could change those. You could change them. And by the way, here we have a D is a directory. And I don't have any files. Let's see if I have any files here. I don't have any files there, but if I do like touch, I don't know, cowboy, and then do this again. Now I have, instead of a D for directory, I just have a dash, and that's a file. So I'm going to remove. And if, I, and if it's a directory, I do recursively with force. I'm going to remove cowboy. And now that should be gone. It's gone. So the way change mod works is you're going to pass in a number, like change mod 777 temp text, or change mod 666, six, six, ha, temp, ha, 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 temp text. Well, what are those numbers? So read has a value of 4, write has a value of 2, execute has a value of 1. You could get whatever combination of summing those up as you want. So if I wanted for, for, uh, for the owner, if I wanted permissions of only read for the owner, let me do it down here. So if I wanted permissions of only read for the owner, I would give four. And if I wanted for the world group to read and write, I would give six. Because read is four, write is two. Four plus two is six. And if for the world I wanted to give execute, I would give one. So I would do change mod 461 temp text. And then it would change this RWX, RWX, RWX to match that appropriately. It would be for the owner. It would be it would be read dash dash for the world and world we gave it six so it'd be read write dash and for no that was the group and for the world it would be execute so it'd be read write execute and that's what would show up right here from four six one do you get it how many people get it so what would be the change mod if I wanted to give owner, uh, if I wanted to give owner read, write, and execute permissions, what number do I use? Read, write, and execute. What number do I use? What number do I use? So read, write, and execute. It's going to be four plus two plus one, seven. Read, write, and execute for the owner. If I want to give the group read and execute. What number do I use? What number do I use? Read and execute for the group. Five. Because read is four, executes one, four plus one is five. For the world, if I want to give the world write and execute, what number do I use? Write and execute for the world. Uh, I can't even see the screen. Three? Yeah, it'd be three. And so I do change mod 753 file name or directory name. And then those permissions are set. Simple, dude. If you've ever tried to change permissions on Windows, ah. Uh. Who needs help with it? Want to keep going? Hmm? So if I want to give the owner. So my command would be change mod on that one, 753, you know, 
file.txt. All right, just like down here. Change mod 777, temp text. So 777, which would mean that the owner has read, write, execute, the group has read, write, execute, and the world has read, write, execute. Because read is four, world is two, execute is one, and that's four plus two plus one is seven. What does this one say? What is that one? What kind of permissions were given to file.txt with that statement? Go. Tell us. What kind of permissions? Um, owner can write and execute. Group can read and execute. And then world can read and write. Yeah. Isn't it kind of crazy? You know? All right. What kind of permissions are given with this one? Who wants to take a crack at it? How about yourself? Uh, <laughs> owner can execute, group can write, the world can write and execute. Yeah. So if I wanted the owner to be able to just write, what number do I put down for the owner? Two. To just write is four. Four. Oh, no, you're right. Two, my bad. <laughs> She's like, ah, you're absolutely right. Right? If I just want the owner to write, it's two. If I want the group, Z, if I want the group to be able to read, what number do I put down for the group? Zoraida? It's a command. We're looking at terminal commands. So if I have that touch, I don't know, Aspen, LSLA, and I can see it's got read write for owner, read for group, read for world. And if I do change mod, and I want read write execute for the owner, read is four, write is two, execute is one. Read is four, write is two, execute is one. So I ask myself, if I want read, write, and execute, I add four plus two plus one, and that's seven. So for the owner, they're going to get a permission of seven. Seven. And then for the group, which is the next person in that permission chain, owner group world, here's read, write, execute. We have owner, group, and then world. So for the group, if I want just read, write, if I want just read, write for the group, I'm going to do four is read. 2 is right, add those together, and for the group, I'm going to put in 6, because it's owner, group, world, so the group, I put in 6. And then, if I want just read for the world, if I want just read for the world, read is 4, So I'm going to put in 4. So 7 is read, write, execute. 4, 2 plus 1 is 7. And that's for the owner. Read and write is 6, and that's going to be for the group. And world is just going to be read, which will be 4. So 7, 6, 4. And I'm going to do Aspen, change mod 7, 6, 4, Aspen. And then we're going to see us go from RW whatever to RWX, RWR. RWX, RWR, right? So the RWX is 4, 2, 1, or 7. 4 plus 2 plus 1 is 7. That's for the owner. For the group, RW is 4 plus 2. That was the 6 right here. 
And for the world, it was read, which is four. Was that good? Better. Better. I had to slow down. I was going too fast. Yeah. Yeah, because you have to look at that and then look at this, and it's too fast. Everybody else. Okay, cool. You got enough to understand change mod. It's just how we set permissions. And the reason that's useful is at some point we might upload files to a server and need to set the permission to execute. Run this, right? And then we'll have to go in and look at what are the permissions and change mod it to set the permission. So that's where it comes into this class of web programming. I'm going to remove that file. Just remove it. And now it should be gone. It's pretty sweet when you get good with those commands. Just being able to kind of like create things, change permissions, move things. It's actually really nice. All right, so that was a long video. 16 minutes. What did we learn in this video? Mostly change mod <laughs> and terminal commands.